What's up everybody, my name is Ryan with Precision LED and today we're going to be installing our premium LED interior package on the 2013 Ford Mustang. This install is also going to be compatible with, with years 2005 to 2014, that'll be your fifth generation. We're going to be installing LEDs into our map location as well as the license plates and then we're going to get to the trunk. Let's get started. Every Precision LED interior kit comes with three tools to help you along with the installation. We have a fork shaped wedge tool here, pointed wedge, and a serrated knife tool. Now to access your front overhead map lights, we're actually gonna be removing this panel and then popping out the clear lens here for you to access. Now you could access this panel here from the top using our serrated knife tool coming in from the side and working your way around. Uh, it's just a little bit hard for us to see in the video us doing that. So I'm gonna actually take this entire module out. We're gonna take it to a workbench and show you how it's done. To take this entire piece out, we're gonna be using the curved end of our wedge tool. You're gonna come from the side here and force this piece down like that. Do the same thing on the other side. And that thing comes down. Now, right here, you have our wire connector. You're gonna push down here and pull out the assembly. And this, you need to work your way out. It's a little pressure clip. So now that we have this out, we'll take it to a workbench and I'll show you how to take these lens covers off to access. The reason we need to take the lens cover off is the LED bulb is a little bit larger than the hole here will accept. So you have to come in from the bottom to insert the LED. Let's do that now. So we have the overhead map assembly here on our workbench and we need to remove the clear lens here in order to get access to the bulb. In order to do that, we're gonna flip it around. You can use the pointed wedge tool. And there are three contact points that are holding the lens cover in place. One here and two in the back. The two in the back are slightly smaller. You can take the pointed wedge tool and push into the opening that holds it in place and it pops that lens cover out. Now that you have access here, you can remove the bulb and replace that with your new LED. The lens cover goes back in place. The largest of the three tabs goes in first and you apply some pressure until the other two snap in, just like that. All you have to do is make sure that you are putting this back in first when you reassemble. You connect your module and you're just pushing up on these two clips until you get a snapping sound. And that means that the cover is back in place. And that's all there is to it. We're looking now at the trunk assembly and we have here our trunk light. You're gonna take the flat end of your serrated knife tool, insert here. Now there's um, a very specific side. You can see there's an indentation right here. Um, on the side closest to the passenger. You're gonna come in from this side and just pry up. And that's gonna help release the assembly. Once you have that out, you'll see we have a Festoon bulb here. We're just gonna unplug the connector to get the bulb to turn off. And you can actually just use a tool to pop this bulb out. Oh, there we go. All right, and then we're just replacing it with our new premium LED. You wanna make sure that the LED boards here are facing down, and that way the light output is going out into the trunk assembly. Snap this one in, and plug it back in. There you go. The connector side goes in first, then you apply some pressure on this side and you're all set. For the license plate assembly, it's actually a two part process. You have a piece of trim here that is covering the license plate assemblies. So you can't take it out unless you take this piece off first. We're gonna be using our uh, fork shaped wedge tool. You're gonna come in from the side here and just start forcing it down until you hear the click sound and that helps it come out. Bring it over into the center. There's another one here in the middle. And there's one here on the edge on the right hand side as well. 
Once you have this piece off, each license plate assembly has two screws holding it in place. This one we were already working on, so we took the screws off already, but this one is a Phillips head screwdriver. And now that you have the screws out, you can take the flat end of our serrated knife tool, come in from the side, and just force just the clear plastic center portion out. And that reveals the bulb. We'll be inserting our new LED. And again, you wanna make sure that the board is facing the clear lens. Get the board facing the correct direction. And then you're plugging it back in. Now at this point to test the light, you can turn your lights on and that will trigger the license plates. And as you can see, they're working. So we're gonna screw them back in. And remember to finish off your assembly by putting that trim piece back in place. Now this one applies using just pressure. This is a guiding pin that helps you know which way is forward. You can start from the center, push up, and give a good amount of pressure on both sides to snap these back in place. And that's it. And that's the end of the installation. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us at help at precisionled.com or you can reach us online and submit a support ticket at www.precisionled.com slash contact. Please like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video or enjoyed the process for what we do. It really does help us out when we make the next one knowing that there's people out there watching the videos. Have a good one.